Also, huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Yo, what's going on everyone? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to yet another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. I am so glad that you guys are back here watching another one of my videos and that honestly makes my days amazing so thank you so much so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to do with this really really cool and easy tiny planet effect in Final Cut Pro 10 the first part of this video I'm gonna show you how to do it without a plugin and then the second part of this video I'm gonna show you how to do it with a plugin in case you guys uh, don't have actual 360 videos then you guys can easily uh, do it with a plugin which is uh, I, I find kind of nice so this is the video here that I uh, just used from a Vimeo uh, link is gonna be in the description to the creator of course in order to actually know that you have a 360 video that's actually compatible with this to work you're gonna go into file you're gonna go to import and then media and then a new window is gonna pop up here with the media import you're gonna go into wherever you have your video downloaded if you guys go inside of the uh, if you scroll here and you have your video selected you're gonna go into the 360 mode okay and if it says uh, this long name which I think is equa rectangular equa rectangular I believe and monoscopic that means that your video is a 360 clip and you can uh, use this in Final Cut Pro 10 without using any plugins and it works seamlessly okay so if you have like a GoPro uh, that records in 360 you can easily do this without a plugin and then just click import uh, I already imported a video here so I don't need to do that um, which is this one so I'm going to show you this basic clip here of just these girls just chilling at the beach and stuff you're gonna notice that the 360 clips have a kind of like a, a movie clip icon towards the top left of this clip and if you click and drag this into the timeline you're gonna get a little message uh, what we're gonna do is we want to import the 360 video on a flat standard project so we're gonna go into video we're gonna go up to the top and select 1080p or you can do 4k you can do whatever uh, whatever uh, format you want it, just make sure it's not the 360 and then click on OK so once you do this you're gonna notice that over here if I skim through the video if you click on this wheel over here and you move you can actually s like see in the video if that makes sense like if you're watching this on YouTube um, you can click and drag to see um, different parts of the video clip but what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this clip and this is a really long clip so um, it's about four minutes long so I'm going to go into the inspector window. I'm going to go into where it says orientation. You can disable this or enable it. And you can see what this would look like uh, if this wasn't a 360 video. So if you didn't import um, or if you imported a, a incompatible 360 video, it's going to look like this. Uh, but if you click on the orientation, it's going to automatically adjust that for you. And then where it says mapping, it's going to be set on normal. We're going to change that to tiny planet. And now you have the tiny planet effect done and it's super easy to do. Now you can go into the field of view. You can change this. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. Um, if I go ahead and I go back and I push play, it just looks super cool and kind of funny in my in my opinion. Now I'm going to show you with this other clip here. I'm going to drag this into the timeline. So same thing. It brings you a new message. Just make sure you click on 1080p instead of the 360 video clip and click on OK. And then I'm just going to fit this into the timeline and I'm going to right now you can't notice anything but if you click on the wheel like I said again you can move through the video here which is pretty neat we're gonna go into the orientation we're gonna change this to tiny planet in the mapping so now if I go back and I push play it looks super super cool so if I go back and I scan through the video that's what it looks like so now we're gonna do some some uh, simple adjustments if you right click on your video clip and you go into the show video animation or option V you will have different uh, different sections for different video animations so you have the transform trim distort orientation and compositing this depends on the video clip of course so you're not going to see the the compositing if you don't have a 360 video but we're gonna go into the uh, into the orientation which is going to be in this one here and you can do you can show all you can show just the tilt just the pan just the roll or just the field of view so what I want to do is I want this to spin as he's walking around so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start it at the very beginning just because and then I'm gonna go into the orientation and here if I click and drag this this will allow you to control the x-axis so this controls 
um, pretty much everything like this and that looks so cool you can go around in a world like that if you really want to the sky's the limit no pun intended uh, the pan here you can adjust this as well which is what I'm gonna be doing you can adjust the uh, the roll here for the Z axis which is a bit strange but you can and then you can change the field of view if you drag it to the right it zooms out or if you drag it inwards to the left this will zoom in so how do we actually spin this well we're gonna go into the Y axis here and we're gonna go into the uh, the plus icon here to actually add a keyframe so click on this and then we're also going to do the same thing for the field of view. So click the plus icon next to field of view. So now I'm going to skim through the video until you can just honestly guess, but I'll show you how you can adjust these uh, according to wherever you want to place them. So now I'm going to um, adjust the pan Y. I'm going to drag this all the way over here until it's kind of like upright. And then the field of view, I'm going to drag this to the left so it zooms in like so. And we forgot to add another one. So if we if we have these left and right arrow keys, uh, if, we, if we click on the left arrow, this will allow you to see your last uh, keyframe for that position. So we're gonna go into the, I believe it's tilt X. So I'm gonna press the plus icon. I'm gonna click on the next, the right arrow to go to the last keyframe. And then we're gonna click on the, uh, where it says tilt X. I'm gonna click and drag upwards to my desired effect. I go to about 90 degrees, which is technically upright position. So now if I were to go back and I push play, it's gonna look like this, which looks super, super cool, okay? Now, let's say we wanna adjust the timing, okay? So we have right here in the timeline, let me see if I can zoom in here. We have the first keyframes here, and then the, the other ones are over here, okay? So that's about four seconds. So let's say we drag the, instead of going all the way over here and, and having to uh, kind of guess where the keyframes are at you can just go in here click on these and just drag it all the way to the left You can actually just go back and I push play you're going to make this a lot faster Let's say you want it to go even faster. Just drag this closer to the keyframes So now if I push play it's going to go super fast. All right guys So the second part I'm going to show you how to um, Apply the 360 video with a plugin and this is really easy. However, the uh, plugin is not for free just uh, FYI um, but if you guys want to do this and you don't have a 360 video then uh, or your video is not compatible in 360 then this is going to work okay so the if we go into the effects here and we go into 360 sugar effects this is what the plugin is called it's called resolve 360 and you guys can install this via the fx factory application and i'm going to show you that right now all right guys so once you download and install uh, the uh, the FX factory application. This is what it's gonna look like. You have a whole bunch of, of really cool plugins But we're gonna go into the search and we're gonna type in 360 and we have resolve 360 You guys can use this as a trial. It is $50, but if you click on it uh, You have some really cool tutorials as well if you guys get confused Just make sure that if you guys uh, go into the requirements that you read the requirements and you guys do need a, uh, a version of 10.3 or higher for Final Cut Pro 10. So if we click and drag this into the video that is not a 360 video, this is what it's going to look like. And it looks super, super cool. Now, when you do apply the uh, plugin and you haven't uh, bought the plugin, there is going to be a watermark. But once you guys buy it, of course, it's not going to be there. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the projection. We're going to click show. And here you can flip this if you want, which looks pretty cool. You can uh, you can flop it, which pretty much inverts the projection here. Um, you can do projection. You can do back. Um, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to go into the settings, though. And these are very similar settings as to the one in Final Cut Pro 10, the built-in one. We have the tilt X axis here. So we can click and drag this and move this to our liking here, which looks super cool. I'm going to reset that. Uh, we have our pan, our Y axis, which is very similar. Like I said, these are all the same. And we have fisheye, which looks pretty cool in my opinion. If I drag this outwards, it's going to look like this. And then zoom here. So it kind of gives you that dolly zoom effect. But if you go into the special framing, you have other options here. You have dolly, you have frame horizontal. I'm not, I'm not going to go through every single one because that will take a very long time. But like I said, this one does resemble kind of like that dolly zoom effect. You have the frame horizontal. And this is really cool, uh, honestly. This is something that you don't get with the standard Final Cut Pro 10 uh, 360 tools. And then you have the frame vertical. Oh, that looks so cool. And then you have uh, the scaling in, where you can scale in. Um, 
like let's say you want to go super super close to where the camera is and you can zoom out like so you can do something like that which you can do some you can do some really crazy transitions with this by the way build it make it show it sell it head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial squarespace has award-winning templates so you can build your online presence easier whether you're a chef or a filmmaker squarespace has amazing 24 7 customer support via live chat and email in case you ever need help use the offer code king pro to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or a domain i'll catch you guys on my next video